So this is the first video on rational functions. I'm going to talk about rational functions as hyperbolas. Now, first of all, what's a rational function? So it's just a function that can be written as a ratio of two other functions, like a rational number can be written as a ratio of two other numbers. Uh, now, those functions need to be polynomials. Examples of some rational functions are something like this. You can see we have a polynomial of degree uh, two here and a polynomial of degree two here. Rational function, degree three on the top and degree one on the bottom. Uh, we could also have something like this one here, which is a polynomial of degree one on the top and a polynomial of degree four on the bottom. So these are all rational functions, a function over a function, and they're both polynomials. This is a very broad range of functions. Uh, you can have any function over any function. They come in all sorts of different shapes. But I want to look at a very specific one. Rational functions that sketch as hyperbolas. So we have one here, a specific example, f of x equals 2x plus 5 over x minus 1. Now, more generally, I guess I could write that as b over cx plus d. Now, this particular one that I've chosen becomes a hyperbola when we sketch it. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like, first of all. You can see that this is what it looks like. It looks like it's got an asymptote through maybe the number 2 here and an asymptote through maybe the number one there, but we'll have to do a bit more investigation for that. But this is a hyperbola, which means that we should be able to rewrite it in the standard form of a hyperbola, which is, of course, over x minus h plus k, where k will be uh, the um, vertical shift and h will be the horizontal shift. So all we need to do is take two x plus five over x minus one and rewrite it as a over x minus h plus k. So here's how we're gonna go about it. Let's zoom in on that function a little bit. Okay, there we are. Now I can say that f of x is going to be equal to. Now this x minus one, my goal here is to get an x minus one up here on the top and, the, and then I'll be able to uh, do some canceling. So the way that I'm gonna do it is look at two x and say, right, two x is double x so i'm going to take double of that and add it to the top you'll see what i mean in a minute so 2x um, double of negative one is negative two so i'm going to add in a negative two there i'm going to put in a plus two so it feels a little bit like completing the square let's call it like completing the fraction and then all of that's over x minus one okay what does that do for me well if I keep my 2x minus 2 like that, and my plus 2 and my plus 5 becomes uh, 7, I get something that looks like this. 2x minus 2, um, put it over here, plus 7 over x minus 1. And now what I'm going to do is split this fraction right here. So I'm going to get uh, 2x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 7 over x minus 1. All right, now paying attention to this bit here, we can factorize the top so that we get an x minus 1. x minus 1, and then 2 out the front, x minus 1, plus 7 over x minus 1. And finally, those x minus 1s cancel out, and I get 2 plus 7 over x minus 1. Now, why have I done all of that? because this is the same as plus two, which looks remarkably similar to that. Now, of course, this is great news because I can sketch those. I know how to sketch hyperbolas. Seven over x minus one plus two. I have hyperbola here at, um, sorry, uh, an asymptote at negative, at, sorry, positive one, an asymptote at positive two, two, one. And I should be able to find x and y asymptotes because the graph is going to go like that and probably something like that. So I need to find my x and y asymptotes just by letting x equal 0 and letting y equal 0. Finding my y-intercept, let x equal 0 and y will equal negative 5. Found my x-intercept by letting y equal 0, negative 2.5. A lot more that you can do with rational functions, but for now, all we need to know is a rational function is a polynomial over a polynomial with this particular kind, ax plus b over cx plus d, 
sometimes, sometimes you'll get a hyperbola, which can be written as a on x minus h plus k. You can do this little maneuver, which I guess we can call completing the fraction, which will give us our hyperbola. And then we can sketch our hyperbola the same way we've always sketched hyperbola. There's so much more to do with rational functions, but that is the beginning.